Wow, there has been a breakthrough in warp drive research. Will we soon be able to jet through space like Captain Kirk and reach strange and exotic worlds in the cosmos? Stay tuned to the end to find out all about it. Welcome, friends. If you've always dreamed of traveling through space on the Enterprise, drop me a line and tell me which Star Trek series you started with, because every generation has its own. And to make sure the warp core really goes to the limit, let's try to get this video 500 likes because the YouTube algorithm loves thumbs up and we want as many people as possible to learn about the warp breakthrough. What is a warp drive, anyway? The term comes from the world of science fiction and was coined to offer a realistic way of bridging large interstellar distances within short periods of time. In the world of Star Trek, warp drive allows spaceships to cover huge distances by creating a so-called warp bubble that distorts space-time around the ship. The basic concept behind warp drive is not a fantasy but firmly rooted in science, because it is based on Einstein's general theory of relativity, which describes how mass and energy curve space-time. You know the feeling when you suddenly create a huge space-time dent after the all-you-can-eat buffet at the Chinese restaurant, or maybe I'm the only one who knows that feeling. Instead of moving through space, a spaceship could theoretically move through space around itself with enough energy, as I said, all scientifically serious. Because as early as 1994, the concept was thoroughly examined by Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubierre. Alcubierre proposed a mathematical solution to Einstein's field equation that would enable a spaceship to travel faster than the speed of light without violating the local laws of physics. This solution, known as the Alcubierre metric, describes a spacetime that contracts in front of the spaceship and expands behind it, creating a kind of wave on which the ship rides. A surf tour on a spacetime wave. Who says physics is boring? Of course, the matter with the warp drive is not quite that simple, otherwise we would already be happily zipping off to distant stars. One of the biggest hurdles is the energy requirement. Alcubierre's original model requires an exotic form of energy, known as negative energy or exotic matter, which has less than zero rest mass energy. Such matter has not yet been detected and remains one of the biggest unknowns in theoretical physics, so it's a bit like using a secret solution in a math test that goes beyond current scientific assumptions. Probably that's why I always got a D in math, and the problems don't stop there. Another tiny obstacle is the stability of the warp bubble. Even if negative energy were available, the physical conditions in inside and outside the bubble would have to be controlled in such a way that the spaceship and its occupants would not be destroyed by extreme tidal forces. This requires an understanding and precise control of space-time manipulation that we obviously do not yet have. So do we have to cancel our vacation trip to Proxima Centauri? This next star in the Milky Way is also a whopping 4.2 light years away, which is a stone's throw in cosmic terms, but outside the realistic range for our spaceship technology, even at the speed of light it would take 4.2 years, so only a warp bubble would help. But don't cancel your vacation yet, folks, because there has been a breakthrough in warp research. Jared Fuchs, a scientist at the Applied Physics Research Institute, has made a remarkable discovery and says, This study changes the discussion about warp drives. By demonstrating a new model, we have shown that warp drives do not have to be science fiction. Bida. And he has managed to overcome one of the biggest hurdles, negative energy. Instead of relying on the elusive negative energy, they have developed a method based on conventional positive energy. This is a big step forward because positive energy is something we understand and can control to a certain extent. In other words, with this new concert, we are once again in the realm of recognized physics. That can't hurt. According to the team, the new concept uses a sophisticated mix of traditional and novel gravitational techniques to create a warp bubble that can transport objects at high speed within the limits of known physics. They call their idea the constant velocity subliminal warp drive, and as described in the paper, the technique is consistent with previous theoretical solutions, including Alcubierre's, but the key is that this concept remains within the known realm of physics. Let's break down the key points of the new concept. It is based on three key points. Constant velocity, a stable matter shell, and a shift vector. What does constant velocity mean in this context? The solution they propose allows a spaceship to travel at a constant subliminal speed. Subliminal means that the spaceship remains just below the speed of light. Instead of using negative energy, the study proposes using a stable shell of regular matter. This shell creates the necessary conditions to distort space-time around the spaceship. And the last important component of the solution is the use of a shift 
shift vector. This vector helps to control the movement of the spaceship by shifting spacetime in one direction. This is similar to the way the Alcubierre metric works, but it does not require negative energy. Okay, you can claim a lot, but that's why I can already hear some of you asking, How is that supposed to work? The drive should be able to operate without negative energy because the concept uses a stable matter shell with a positive ADM mass. ADM stands for Arnowit Deser Misner mass. This is a concept from general relativity that describes the total mass of an isolated system. It is calculated by measuring the curvature of spacetime far away from all masses. The ADM mass is the sum of all energy and matter in the system and remains constant as long as no matter or energy is added or removed. In other words, the team and Jared Fuchs have succeeded for the first time in developing developing a functional warp system with a positive ADM mass, which can create a shell in a stable region of space-time that enables the necessary conditions for the creation of a warp bubble. It all sounds great, but maybe it was a good idea to take out travel cancellation insurance for your vacation on Proxima B, because the researcher Christopher Helmerich, who was also involved, says, such a design would still require a considerable amount of energy, but it shows that warp effects can be achieved without an exotic form of matter. These results pave the way for a future reduction in the energy requirements of the warp drive. So it has brought us one step closer to a realistic warp drive, but it is still incredibly energy intensive. But if you want to hear my personal opinion, that's exactly how you make the impossible possible. Like Gustav Weisskopf and the Wright brothers with their pioneering work on the development of aircraft. You make small breakthroughs, getting closer and closer to feasibility until at some point it works. That's how all the great technological revolutions in human history were brought about after centuries of everyone saying it can't be done. Then someone heaved it into the realm of the possible, and that's exactly how it will be with warp drive, in my opinion. And that's why this study is a super important breakthrough on our way to the stars. As soon as there's something new, I'll keep you up to date. Of course, this is only possible if you follow my channel. It's absolutely free. You'll never miss science updates again, and you'll help me immensely. Thank you, friends. Speaking of movement in space, our solar system is also moving through the cosmos. Right now, we are racing around the center of the Milky Way, and there is much to suggest that this galactic cycle has always influenced the fate of the planet. What this will do to the Earth and to us in the future can be seen in the video. Be sure to watch it, and don't forget to visit the Astro Shop. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends.